Hi, I'm Joe Day Sarni, and welcome to Total Gym's Family Workout Week 2. This is my daughter Juliet, and she's going to be demonstrating the more advanced moves in the exercises. We're going to be working the upper body, the lower body, and then we'll finish up with some deep stretches. Let's get started. For the shoulder press with the total gym, you're going to need to use the wing attachment and detach the hand cables from the glide board. Juliet's going to demonstrate a handstand shoulder press. So I'm going to have her first show you an easy way to get up on the wall. Walking up the wall like that. And then you're in your handstand. And then Juliet also demonstrate the way you would normally get up on a wall in a handstand. And that's another way to get on the wall. So you kind of do a cartwheel up into the wall. All right, so starting here, I'm going to get on the glide board, hands on the wing attachment. Head and shoulders in line with the spine here, and I'm going to press up. And Juliet's going to do a shoulder press in a handstand position. The lower the glide board, the easier the exercise is. The more angled the glide board is up the column, the harder it is. Exhale as you extend the arms completely straight. Inhale as you bring your arms into bent position. So Juliet's going to be demonstrating the advanced move for the reverse fly twist. Make sure that you sit up nice and tall. Your feet can be off the glide board, just hanging on each side. Your arms are going to be very straight through the elbow. You're going to squeeze between the shoulders as you lift the arms into the fly. So reverse fly. And then very gently rotate to the side, keeping the arms apart, back together and then close the fly. And do each side alternating so that you don't overexert yourself on the one side. So this is the advanced move for the reverse fly with a twist. Now let me demonstrate the reverse fly using a row or a bent arm. So instead of the arm being fully extended, the arms are here, it's much easier to turn like so, come back to center. And down. So here, turn with the elbows bent and center, squeezing your stomach the whole time, twisting and down. And don't forget to do the other side. For the lying tricep extension, Juliet's going to demonstrate on the machine here on the total gym. Her arms are going to be elbows by her waist, and then she's going to keep her wrists straight as she pushes her arm straight behind her squeezing her tricep as much as she can, and then coming back to the uh, beginning position. I'm going to demonstrate the chaturanga push-up, which also really works the tricep. So, ready? Here we go. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Try to do as many perfect push-ups as you can. Perfect tricep extensions, really straighten the arm with intention. Keep the core tight. Do as many reps as you can. For the sit-up stand-up, the flat on the incline, the harder it is. So Juliet's going to demonstrate from the floor, and I'm going to demonstrate from a low incline on the total gym. The whole idea here is to use your core to sit up and then use your legs to stand up. Extend your spine straight when you're finally in standing position and suck it in the whole time. All right. So here we go. I'm going to lay down on the glide board. Julia's going to lay on the floor. Both of our knees are bent. You can use your arms to help you get up and then stand up. And then you squat and you sit down. Or if you don't want to put your arms into it, you can roll forward and stand up. And then squat and sit down. It's up to you how hard you want to make this. 
from how much of a whole body workout you want to make this. And one more time. That's it. Burpees tend to be a high impact, high intensity exercise. I'm going to show the low impact, still high intensity version of the exercise. Juliet's going to show high impact, high intensity with jumping. So this is going to get your heart rate up. It's a full body workout because you're squatting down, you're doing a plank, you're using your core. She's going to do the push up for the upper body, and then she's going to stand up and again work the legs. All right, are you ready? Let's see how many we can do. Ready? Squat, go. So I'm stepping out, I'm holding a plank, I'm stepping forward, and I'm coming up. Juliet pushes into the push up. So here you are. Stepping out, stepping in. This is a modified burpee. Stepping out one foot at a time. I'm not doing the push up, but Juliet is doing the push up. And every time you take your arms over your head, that increases the intensity. So you can increase the intensity one step at a time by putting your arms up. Stepping a lot wider into your push up position and plank position helps you keep the balance. Toe touch row is going to be a stretch for us in this part of the workout. Juliet's going to demonstrate a toe touch stretch with the straight legs on the floor, and I'm going to demonstrate the toe touch row with knees bent. So with your knees bent, it's a lot easier to get your stomach to your legs and then drop your head forward and stretch here. Advancing the move a little bit harder is going to be with the legs straight, you lean forward and allow gravity to just stretch your back. And Juliet can demonstrate on the floor what a forward straight legs fold is going to look like. So right here we're just going to count to eight at first, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and you roll up. Try to hold your stretches for as long as possible at the end of your workout because that's when your muscles are the warmest. For the last stretch, you can either do the warrior high lunge or you can do a full split. I'll demonstrate how far you can go from warrior lunge down and then Juliet will demonstrate the full split. This stretch stretches the front of the hip the hip flexor, and also your hamstring. So make sure that you do this split with both, both the right leg forward and then the left leg forward. And we're just going to demonstrate one side though. Okay, so here we go. This is the high lunge warrior split right here. The back leg is straight, the heel is off the floor, the front knee is bent. And Juliet, go ahead and start demonstrating the split. And there's the split right there. Now you can take your split forward and even deeper. You can lie against the top leg, taking your stomach all the way to your thigh. You can take your knee to the floor, increasing the split, making sure that your hip stays dropped forward and the knee is in line over the ankle. And from here, progressing your split, you can take that front foot all the way forward all the way down into your front to back split. So that's the progression of the warrior lunge to the split.